Hi guys, what's up? It's Carolina and today we are going to be doing my July haul and can you believe... Okay, what is my neighbor doing? You guys believe that it's already the end of July? Like it honestly feels like summer just started and now that August is starting all the fall back to school clothes are going to be going into the stores and everyone's going to start wearing fall colors and I'm like it is not time yet. That being said, I do have some summer pieces that I got this past month because to me it's still summer until the end of August so I'm going to be rolling with that. Um, I did go to the end of the Zara sale which is kind of pointless for me to show you at this point because the sale is pretty much over but I'm going to show you guys anyway because it's just really cute. So I'm gonna start with Zara just to get that out of the way and the first thing that I got is this really really cute white and green little like pinafore dress. I say pinafore because you honestly can't wear this on its own because it's just like way too low cut on the sides. This is actually from the kids section. This is the size 11 and 12. Um, and I just think it's so cute. I already posted this on my blog, so I'll link it down below so you can check it out. Um, I wore this with like my white go-go boots and like a white top underneath. It was really, really cute. So if you want to check that out, the link will be in the down bar. Oh, I actually ended up wearing it with this top. Um, and this one is this like wide collar, like puffy sleeve top. I tried this on in the change room in one of my past videos. Not exactly sure which one. I think it was a week in my life. Not really, I don't really remember which video it was. But uh, I tried it on. It was really cute, but it was like still $45 like on sale. And I was like, nah. Um, and it was a little bit big. This is a small. Ideally, I would have liked an extra small. I'm obsessed with this massive collar. I think it's so cute and just like... I don't know, very like childlike, which I really love. Like, I don't know why that just kind of draws me in all the time. Um, but I just think it's like really, really adorable and it just kind of dresses up any outfit. I got another white top as if I needed any more white tops. And this one is kind of like a broidery anglais or whatever, however you call that um, top. And it has these ruffles going on the side as well as it has a little bit of a flare at the bottom, like a little, not peplum, but like a little bit of a ruffle at the bottom. Um, and it has a little bit more of like a Victorian kind of feel to it. I don't know, just with maybe the high neck is really what it's giving me those vibes. And then the last thing that I got from Zara is a pair of shorts and these ones are pink and white kind of linen shorts. They are high-waisted and they are just so cute. I can't wait to wear these. I haven't worn them yet. I'm probably going to take these to Spain with me when I go next month. Um, and I just think they are just uh, so cute. And they remind me of like ice cream and going to like an ice cream parlor or something. <laughs> I don't know. It's just really, really cute. Moving on, uh, I went to H&M. They were also having a sale. I only ended up getting two things from them. One of them is a pair of jeans. Um, and they are these amazing striped like culotte wide leg pants and I just love these colors and I think they're so fun. Striped pants are so in right now um, and I'm so happy that I was able to find these for like $20 and they fit me perfectly um, and yeah I just think these are going to be really really fun for the end of the summer as well as transitioning into the fall uh, with like a chunky sweater or something. The next thing that I got from H&M is a sweater and it is an orange sweater. You guys know I love wearing orange. I think it's so fun and so underrated and I feel like so many people hate on orange for some reason but I absolutely love it. I love how I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I I don't want any fall things yet. I also went to Marshalls and I got this little plaid pinafore dress. This will be perfect for the fall um, and I just thought it was so cute. Black, white and this kind of like burnt like mustardy yellow orange type thing um, and I just thought it was like really really cute. It's really nice thin material so for the fall this would be perfect. This would even look really cute paired with this orange sweater but anyway. I went to um, Forever 21 and they had some really cute things actually. I'm really into daisy prints right now I'm not really sure why I'm not I've never really been too drawn to daisies But lately I've just kind of been into it So I did get this little sweater which I think will be perfect transitioning into the fall with like a tan skirt or something And it's black and it has these um, Little daisies in the front and then it has some mustard yellow on the collar and the sleeve but I also got these overalls that are also daisy print and they are black and they have daisies like all over them um, And I just thought it was super 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 cute and they were only $15 and then they had buy one get one free all of their clearance so I picked up this sheer like long light pink dress which as you can tell from this it's not really there's not really much to it you know like there's nothing really with it and it is very sheer so um, I do have this light pink long midi skirt that I think I'm gonna layer underneath and just wear like a white blouse so this will be really nice for like a like a night out or something, like a night out, like an evening out, you know, a little bit fancier than a night out. Um, 
in the fall just because it is a little bit longer. I also got a pair of pants that are so on trend right now. They are this kind of brown, like a light chocolate brown um, colored pants with white polka dots and they are wide leg and like super high waisted and I think this material would be really nice for like the end of the summer when you want to be a little bit warmer but it's also a nice lightweight material. As well from Forever 21 I got this little white Victorian looking top that has a sheer kind of like triangle at the top. This looks really similar to if I'm gonna link a video down below where I went vintage shopping with Adrian and she got this cream like blouse. Um, it has that similar look to it, but it's not vintage and it was only $24, which is a really good deal. Um, and it's really, really beautiful. It looks amazing on actually, it looks better on than it does like me holding it here. They do also make it in black, but I have some similar ones in black, so I just ended up getting the white one and I just think it's so pretty. I'm Forever 21 again. I got this little gingham dress it's like a little pinafore dress and it looks like this and I love the little like embroidery stuff on the like up here on the chest as well as on the bottom of the dress I just think it just adds a really nice elegant touch to it and I just think it's really really pretty and I don't really own anything like this oh my god could you not do that right now jeez I'm not kidding my neighbor is always outside doing something. I've never seen anybody be so energetic about everything. He's always doing something. It's like, do you hate your wife? Like, why are you never inside your house? This thing that I got from Forever 21 is this little early 1970s looking dress. It almost looks like it's like a picnic tablecloth, like an outdoor tablecloth, which is like so my vibe. And it is orange and it has these big like fluttery sleeves, which I really love. Um, and I just think it's gonna be perfect for the rest of the summer. We're just gonna have to deal with the grass cutting because my neighbor is clearly just wants to be annoying today. Oh, well, the next thing that I have is actually from Salvation Army and I ended up getting this really, really beautiful kind of 1960s print top. This is originally from Fairweather, which I didn't even know they were still around or maybe they're not, I don't know. Um, but I just thought it was so beautiful, especially with like a, like a short little denim skirt. I think it would look really, really nice. As I mentioned in my last video, I ended up getting this little beaded bag and I just think it's just so precious. I absolutely love it. It's white so I was looking for something like this because you guys know I collect these kind of bags and I had like pretty much every other color except for white. It does come with this like little gold chain on it so I'm not really sure if I want to switch it out. I might look for something a little bit nicer than this one. It was like $3.99 so I can't really complain. I have two more clothing items left and one of them is from Matisu and it is a little polka dot dress and it's just so cute. Um, it's white and it has like a bunch of different colored polka dots on it and then it has these little ruffles on the sleeves as well as on the bottom of the dress and it just gives it such a nice little girly touch. Um, I'm absolutely in love with it. You can pretty much pair it with any colored shoe that you want. Um, I do already have this up on my blog if you want to check it out so I'll link the link down below. The last clothing item that I have is from Shein and it is a pair of pants and again I know I said that summer is still here but I got a pair of plaid pants and these ones are blue and they just are so cute. They're high-waisted and they just like the perfect straight fit like sometimes I feel like they're a little too bulky but these ones actually fit me perfectly so I'm really really excited about it I already posted these on my blog if you want to check it out I'll link it down below I do have a couple of accessories left I did get this little beautiful watch from Valley Village it was only $7.99 the original brand is Pierre layer rent and it is just gold and it has like a little chain and it looks like the most typical grandma watch ever and I'm obsessed with it you guys know I love stuff like that it is a little bit big on me so I do have to get it like taken in the next thing that I have is also something that I showed you guys in my last video and it is a pair of sunglasses and you guys these are like so iconic I actually can't they look like TVs on my face and I'm just living for it um, I've already posted this like on my Instagram and stuff I just think they're amazing let me know what you guys think is this something you would wear or, or do, do you guys just think these are ridiculous? And then the last thing that I have, I also mentioned in my previous video, I'm gonna link it down below if you haven't watched it, but it is a pair of like bowling looking shoes. You guys, I mentioned this in a video back in the spring that I was looking for a pair of shoes like this. I am so happy that I found some. I got these at Payless actually and they're really affordable. They're only like $40. Um, and I just think these are gonna be so fun to style in the fall. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments below which item was your favorite. As well as I am gonna be going to Spain at the end of next month. So let me know if you'd rather have a travel diary, a vlog, or a combination of both. I'm thinking I might do like a combination of both so have some b-roll with me talking as well uh, let me know what you'd prefer and yeah make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time bye